number of confirmed COVID-19 cases has reached 1,523 in Armenia on Thursday. A total of 15,960 tests have come back negative so far, and 840 people are currently being treated. According to the latest data, 659 COVID-19 patients have recovered thus far, whereas 24 others have died. Health Minister Arsen Tarosyan noted that 10 COVID-19 patients were in very critical condition. There are approximately 230 people with pneumonia, 5 people on ventilators, he added in particular. In the meantime, Deputy Prime Minister Dikran Avinyan, who is also commandant of the current state of emergency in Armenia, has signed a new decision and lifted a restriction on the inner provincial movement, noting that the respective checkpoints will be removed. The temporary restrictions on some economic activities will also be lifted. Three Armenian patients with COVID-19 who were in extremely critical condition were discharged from hospital. The health minister posted a video showing employees of this hospital discharging patients with applause. Debates have raged after Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov referred to the documents that suggest a phased settlement to the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. Earlier, Armenian Foreign Minister Zorhat Manasaganyan noted that concessions are impossible at the cost of Artsakh security. Now, Armenian Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesperson Anan Ardalyan noted that ever since 2018, Armenia has not been holding talks based on a phased settlement. No settlement option that does not provide for the exercise of Artsakh's right to self-determination without the imposing of any restrictions and may endanger the security of the people of Artsakh is acceptable to the Armenian parties, she said in particular. Artsakh Defense Ministry has posted photos of the wreckage of the Azerbaijani drone that was downed by the Defense Army. On Tuesday, the Artsakh Air Defense Forces stationed in the southern direction noticing the Azerbaijani drone entry into the airspace of Artsakh down to the drone. Earlier, the Artsakh Ministry of Defense had reported frequent cases of flights of the opponent forces in areas adjacent to the line of contact. Drones have also been involved trying to penetrate the Artsakh's airspace for reconnaissance purposes. Graves belonging to Armenians have been discovered in the Nazilya region of the Turkish province of Aydın. The employees of the Aydın Museum were called and they confirmed that Armenians were buried there. The tombstones are believed to date back to the 17th century. They were moved to a safe place. <laughs>